Hi, my name is Luis Fernandez. I'm here with Gonzalo Vivanco and Michael Orta. We're the supporter number two for the mechanical design two. Uh, we're trying to build a gearbox. A gearbox we, we're trying to build is to reduce the speed and increase the torque. It consists of a series of gears that we uh, put it together to make a whole system more efficiency. Uh, most of uh, the we are we're using are the sports. Um, we uh, we are connected with uh, some shafts. The purpose of the design is to transmit uh, six horsepower, and at the end, the input and the output have to be in an uh, opposite direction, one to another. Um, the, the design we're building is uh, very similar to the one they use for the Toyota Prius planetary gearbox. Um, basically, our project is our, our shaft in the gearbox has to be in parallel. We have to assume a high, high precision application and we have to endure the uh, light shaft. Our design from, from our system that we have, it's mostly from a, com for a commercial car design and it's a good application for reduction, mostly having a high RPM for our, for our specific um, example, it's going to be 1600 with an output of 880 RPM. <coughs> mostly this is a small design, a small model design that we have here and like I said with a high input and a low, low output reduction. Um, our design, our specific design, what we had, we had a two-step design of a planetary system and since our ratio was supposed to be from, our RPMs are supposed to be 1800 to 80, it's a 20 to 1 ratio. So what we did, we made a design of a 5 to 1 ratio, having an, the input of 1800 brought down to 320 and then a 4 to 1 step, a 4 to 1 ratio, which would bring the 320 down to the 80, which is the desired, the desired RPM for the output shaft. And at the same time, right at the end of the, of the two-step system, we're going to have a, plant, a, a spur gear with the same amount of teeth, teeth and perpendicular and parallel with another shaft, this, giving it the opposite um, RPMs as the input shaft. And bringing it all total, so 20 to 1 ratio with the output with a, with a different, um, at a different velocity. Um, this increases the torque in the system, having a higher, a desired, a higher torque of the system. Also, with the with the, with a high safety factor, and um, our specific specific planetary gear is a uh, one sun gear in the center with a smaller ratio, with three planets and one one ring gear in the system, and um, this helps in the in the torque, the higher desired torque and the safety factor. So as uh, Mike was explaining before, we have the the outer ring gear, the three spur gears in the middle, and then we have the the sun gear connected by you know, the shafts and then the linkage arms here and everything labeled here. Now here we have the enclosure. We want to keep in mind that we want to have as much of a compact space in the transmission as possible. So with this design, you'll see that you can hook up the, the motor in the output shaft on the other end to transmit the six horsepower. Uh, basically, you want to keep it as small as possible and lightweight so as to not take up any other space throughout the rest of the system when it's put into the automobile. Now for pricing, we were going through the Boston Gear Catalog with a lot of uh, different price ranges. We were also trying a couple of websites. Uh, we found it was an average for the gears to be about $20 and $80, so usually an average to be machined depending on the material was about $60. Bucks. Um, manufacturing, labor, cost stuff like that with the enclosure and the materials ended up to a little bit over $800. And this is going to be a similar planetary gear set where you see in the Toyota Prius, uh, you see a couple of the the different types of gears used connected by the shaft that are in parallel here with the bearing. Uh, he's showing you see the angled teeth and then the hooked up by the chains. So this is a more larger scale of what we wanted to do, but you can still apply to smaller scale versions to get that uh, six horsepower transmission between uh, all the gears and between the input and the output shaft. And uh, basically in conclusion, we were able to successfully transfer that horsepower. Uh, the system was in the higher end of efficiency, so we were able to, to create that, and luckily with the help of the gear catalog, we were able to define our system uh, fairly easily, and that concludes the presentation.